still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? You ready for some cupcakes? Ready for some drugged cupcakes? Ta-da! Wow! Hey, young Pepe, why don't you eat the cupcakes and drink the tea first? Why don't you try it, young Pepe? Yeah, we'll all definitely eat and drink the cupcakes and tea after you. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes, decorated to look like little cats. Oh boy! I wonder if this is a euphemism for something. Or is it an analogy? I don't know. I'm just a high schooler named Young Pepe. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate we use to make ears. Wow, that's so cute! That's so kawaii! I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. I just assumed you were useless. Haha, <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one! Sayori grabbed the first one. Then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. Oh, I'm sure she's used to that. Haha, <laughs> taking some icing to the face, if you know what I'm saying. Nudge, nudge. I turn, <laughs> I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. You should be looking for, like, injection points. Natsuki is quiet. Oh, oh, wants to see if I'm going to eat the drugged cupcake. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. How suspicious! Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor, like cyanide. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I made it for you, Baka! Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Exactly, exactly. She's such a cliche that it's not even funny. Don't laugh. How dare you laugh, Natsuki? Made them for you or anything? I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you know, you dummy. Oh, oh, she got me good, guys. Oh, God, she burned me. She burned me so bad. I need some calamine lotion. All right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. So basically, everybody wants your young Pepe's little Pepe. Oh, of course. That's how, that's how high school is, guys. Remember high school? When all the girls just... Just was all up on you, young Pepe. <laughs> Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Ah! She kept the whole tea in the, in the classroom. Tea set, yeah. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Permission for a tea set? After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess so. Uh, ha ha! Don't let her yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Ah, uh, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know, I believe you. Like Naruto. Because believing in others never backfires. It's always the best course of action. Well, T and Re uh, reading... Might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? I was basically blackmailed. The Russian mob hacked my iPhone 20. And they found some salacious pictures of me with icing. On my nipples. And so they uh, they said they were going to release it to, uh, to 4chan. And you know. I was just like. What's a young Pepe to do? I got to go to the literature club. And here I am today. Reading books and stuff. Or something. I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica. That I was practically dragged here by Sayori. And you know the Russian mob. 
Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Siori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel at home, okay? We read lots of doujinshi. I'm sure you're familiar with that. Do you, are you partial to Guro? We got lots of that. Oh, boy. All oh, the Guro. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make a club fun and exciting for everyone. That's why we have all the hentai. All of it. Even the kind you don't want to see. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any major club. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Haha, <laughs> well you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. I know. The world hasn't been the same ever since Trump Senpai opened up the... The... <laughs> I can't even. I can't even. He just... He opened up a club. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna think of a name. Do we... Do we even need to? It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Like, you know... I can't... I can't even. I don't want to get demonetized. Please. Please, YouTube. Please don't forsake me for my, my memes. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. You know, I agree. It's kind of like if you have a foot fetish. Don't just enjoy it yourself. Spread your foot fetish. Like a venereal disease. And let everybody enjoy feet. You know? Monica really is a good le a great leader. Not just a good leader. Silly me. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Or that way. See how she's pointing? Ah. Oh. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Oh god, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. It's kind of like relationships. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Oh, everybody's pumped. Oh, good. They're so enthusiastic. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Oh, man, Monica must have really worked hard to find these three. Now, I don't know this story at all. I'm going into this. I'm going into this story blind, all right? But I'm going to take a, a wild guess here. They all, they all know that they want me. They want that young Pepe. All right. All to themselves. And so they made this club as a front. Kind of like how people will launder money. And instead of laundering money, they're trying to launder me. Okay. The young Pepe. They want to find the dankest meme. The, the, the wildest Pepe. And just bottle it up, okay, in a cage. A Nicholas cage. Monica must have really worked hard. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of new members joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. I still just want to I just want to go join the anime club. I don't want to be here. Why do I want to be here? So, young Pepe, what kind of things do you like to read? I like to read... Doujinshi? Oh, boy. Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few days, years even, I, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga, mostly. You know, like, I Am a Hero, or, uh, you know, Prison School. You know, I was reading some High School of the Dead. I don't know why there's no new chapters for the past, like, year, but whatever. I muttered quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. 
Oh good, she likes the manga. It looks like she wanted to say something, but keeps quiet. Well, manga is the closest thing to anime, and I wanted to join the anime club, so we might have to go with Natsumi. Not much of a reader, I guess. No, sorry. I haven't really read, uh, you know, 1984 recently, or anything like that. You know, I'm not, I'm not really a heavy reader, I guess you could say. Well, that could change. No, it can't. You're not going to change me. You don't have the golden ticket between your legs. It's going to make me change my whole lifestyle. And you're going to be, oh, I changed him into a better man. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking about seeing after Yuri's sad smile. Listen, Yuri. Go, f go. I, I can't even. I can't even, Yuri. All right. Back up. Back up, girl. I'm tired of your, I'm tired of your stuff right now. Anyway, what's, what's with you, Yuri? You like, you like girl-on-girl girl hugs? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of a teacup with the finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Really, I'm into psychological horror. That's why I'm here, Yuri! Psychological horror! It was in the title. Not really. It was in the, it was in the disclaimer. Kinda. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a foreign, a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading, even though I stopped caring as soon as she opened her mouth. Like that, you see how her mouth is just kind of a jar? Just, just put a sock in it, Yuri. Nobody wants to hear about your, your novels that you read, how you read the entire Harry Potter franchise in like a week. Nobody cares, Yuri! She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Well, sorry, Yuri, but I don't care. But you know, I like a lot of things, like... I can't even... I, I can't... I, I don't... Please... Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Oh, oh, now you're gonna try to panda to me, Yuri? See how the AI is learning? Okay? I, I mentioned something, then it casually just throws it in there. I know what this is. It's listening to me right now. It's, it's on the fly. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you through for a loop? Oh man, you mean like M. Night Shyamalan la la. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. You see what I mean? It's learning. It heard that I didn't care about her novels, and now it's like backpedaling into psych a psychological horror. It heard me say it, and now it's it's applying it. Great, great. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp uh, something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have a conversation with The Rock. The Rock Johnson. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. Oh, Yuri, you're into the occult. I know. I know. I could see it in your crazy anime eyes. I guess you could say that, teehee. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Aw oh, man. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. And sometimes, you look into the darkness, and the darkness looks back. And then you're forever jaded to the world. Like young Pepe. Ah, I hate horror. Well, now, Natsu now Natsuki's messing it up. Natsuki, all you had to do was keep your mouth shut. You liked manga. That was the closest thing to anime. I was going to, like, lean towards you, but now I'm leaning towards whatever her, whatever her, I already forgot, Yuri. Now I'm leaning towards Yuri. She likes psychological horror, you know? Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dot over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the class club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! 
Give that back! Fine. Ah ha ha, you cupcakes, your poem. Everything you do is as cute as you are. So basically, she's a, a sundereri or whatever the, whatever the heck these kids be calling them nowadays. She likes to act tough, but she's really just a sweet little innocent flower. Oh, oh such a sweet little innocent flower. Get out of here.